Hello? This bathtub is calling to me. It's foggy up there. It is foggy. It could be worse weather, but this is not the best. See, this is what we do for ghost hunting. Yes, the sacrifices we do. <laughs> the sacrifices we make. The fun ones. These corners are what makes those rocks yeah, coming down. Yeah, and I'm also a little nervous because people fly through here. Yeah. Just a little hairy. There's a little bit right there. A little hairy? Where? <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's being a Bigfoot's baby. I was thinking that I should have named that pheasant that I smocked. Harry? I, I don't know. Oh. I just popped in mind when you said oh, that, I but I should have named him. Should have named him. Sorry, George. <laughs> <laughs> Jorge. 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 <laughs> we call him dinner. <laughs> but he stunk so bad. Just even right after I hit him, I don't get that. He must have had COVID. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was a yeah, zombie the bird flu. The bird flu. <laughs> That has to be it. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I should actually take a picture of that too. Oh man. Don't roll down your window. <laughs> Are you getting scared? For real? I guess I'm a little afraid of heights. It takes me a minute to get used to it. I'll be okay. Do you want me to drive for a little bit? No. Okay. I'll be okay. Well, for being nervous, you're doing a damn good job. It's a pretty <clears throat> long fall. Yeah. Luckily, though, it's pretty clear. Fingers crossed it stays that way. Fingers crossed it stays that way. The scariest part of the road is over. Well, I think. Maybe not. And now we're coming into the fog. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. A lot. Well, it might be worse at the bottom here. I don't know, but it looked a lot worse. <gasps> Oof, back there. I hate that sliding feeling. We're going into this now. We just left. So we're here at the Sheridan Inn, and Karen and I noticed an interesting coincidence. It seems like every place we go, this gentleman right here has his hand. In every place we've been to in Wyoming. Hmm. Yuck. Coincidence? I think I not. I think not. Perhaps. Oh dear so. God. What is your major plan? <laughs> 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 to take over Wyoming, of course. <laughs> the Sheridan Inn, located in Sheridan, Wyoming. Designed by architect Thomas Kimball, it opened its doors in 1893. The hotel was constructed by the Chicago, Burlington, and Quincy Railroad as part of its development program in Wyoming. Having the first electric lights and bathtubs in this part of Wyoming, the inn was considered the finest hotel between Chicago and San Francisco. Of course, Buffalo Bill Cody managed the hotel from 1894 to 1896 before starting construction on his own hotel in Cody, Wyoming. In 1901, Catherine Arnold, or Miss Kate as she was known, moved to Sheridan from Virginia. At the age of 22, she started working at the inn and continued working there for the next 64 years. In 1968, Miss Kate passed away and per her last request, she was returned to the inn. Her ashes were buried in the wall of the room she had occupied for so many years on the third floor. So on this porch, Buffalo Bill used to hold his auditions for his Wild West show. And what we were told is they used to put a coin, I believe is what it was, was that care of coin? Yeah, a silver dollar. Uh, traffic. <laughs> They used to put a silver dollar and a big tree that used to be here is not here anymore. It used to be right there. 
and they would have to shoot yeah, at it. Yeah, trees. And that was just like the start of the auditions. There was more to it, but the, he would sit here and hold auditions and pick who he wanted in the show, you know, because apparently he was a big deal. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we just... But it's a nice porch. I mean, you can just envision it back in the day. Yeah. Beautiful. All this was open. There wasn't any of that stuff here. I mean, the except train, for the train station, train station right station there. Was there. That train station over there, on this side, used to be where that building is right there. So that's the original train station, and that's the newer one. Thanks. Along these walls um, are the blueprints for the hotel itself. I'm going to show you. The hotel is in um, Guinness Book of World Records for having the most gables, apparently. Yep. This hotel takes up an entire city block. Not all of it is original. We were told that this all is original here, including this. Original the carpet cool. they had brought in doesn't look just like the Hermes carpet. I think so. This floor is original wood to the building. This is the original dance floor in the ballroom. And there are three fireplaces that are all made of stone. They're still functional. And if you notice a similarity, the Irma. The Irma Hotel in the dining room. I think Buffalo Bill got his ideas for the construction of the Irma from the Sheridan Inn, which he did uh, was co-owner, I believe. I believe so. I'm not mistaken, but yes, he, he had a big part to play in this hotel. Um, and this one was built in 1893, and the Irma wasn't built until 1902, so he definitely got a lot of his ideas from this place. Look at that chandelier. It's beautiful. And then this was added on between 1960 and 1970, so we're told. You can see it. It looks like <clears throat> it's from the 60s. Yeah, it does. It looks like it's from the 60s. They did a really good job of, like, of matching them together, but you can definitely tell the difference. You can tell the difference in sound between that room and this, and this room. room. <laughs> I can wear, like, tap shoes. Like. <laughs> And they're not going to hear you. <laughs> Which, oh, by the way, you guys. So anyone coming here for any kind of paranormal investigation, you better rent the whole building or you're not going to get a good result. In our room all night long, you hear people above you on both sides. They argue over <coughs> what breakfast they want to eat or this person was over there using the bathroom all night and this person was dragging luggage across the floor at 6 a.m. in the morning. And it was before 6. Yeah. I'm not sure what was going on, but everything. You could hear every bit of noise. So doing an investigation here, you have to have the whole hotel to yourself. I could even, I could hear everyone snoring. I could hear, there must be night stuff, because I could hear them chatting down there. Oh, you could hear anybody in the lobby clear as day when they're talking. Mm -hmm. There is a huge wooden bar that uh, Queen is here at the Sheridan Inn that was from Queen Victoria. Which Coincidentally, mirrors the one at the Irma Hotel. And it is very similar. Very, very. I know this one in particular was shipped from England itself. And the one in Cody was not. I think that one was made in the States, yes. It was made in Montana, I believe, mm -hmm. but her. Montana or, I'm not sure which state. I think it was Montana, but. It happens. I really want a really hot bath in this thing. I do. Look at that, Tammy. We can take a bath and wash our hair without even getting out of the bath. And 
I feel like that. Like I was in love with the. You're just in there talking I to yourself. Want one. <laughs> I want one of those. I know. I was thinking. I wanted to comment, but I was like, if I stay quiet, she'll come out eventually. <laughs> You're such an ass. Did you get the whole part? Like I look like shit. No, too? no, I didn't no, get that. No, like, just the bathtub. I'm so taking that. I don't usually do that in hotels, but this is a very nice. The, yes. The picture doesn't do it justice. No, I gotta get in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my shoes off. So, yeah. Hey, look, why don't you reenact this scene from the Double D Ranch without the spiders? Oh, there's no spiders. <laughs> and I have a hoodie because it's chilly. <laughs> but it won't good. be for long. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> This bathtub is coming to me. <laughs>